After the construction of Abd al-Rahman I's founding mosque in 786, three phases of expansion will accommodate the ever-increasing faithful. The huge extension projects made the Mosque of Cordoba the largest mosque in the world in the 10th century after Mecca, with an area of 23,000 square meters. Among these extensions, one is remarkable. The one initiated by Caliph Al-Hakam II, where there is a sumptuous mirab decorated with gold. The mirab is an essential architectural piece present in all mosques. It indicates the direction of Mecca, the direction in which one must turn to pray. This mirab is very big, and when we enter it, the space is enormous, which gives us the feeling of a door, a door to the afterlife, to the light and to heaven. There is a singular perspective in this part of Al-Hakam II. The architects were able to create a space that leads us to this precise point. Thus, the central nave, which we can see here, clearly evokes this road towards the right path, this idea to take towards the mirab, which is like a sort of door of light. When Muslims entered this place, they saw this light that would lead them to heaven, that would lead them to the right path, to true Islam. After having dominated the Iberian Peninsula for more than five centuries, Muslim power is under threat. Battles led by Christians are launched to drive out Muslims. It is La Reconquista, the reconquest of Muslim territories. Ferdinand III takes over Cordoba in 1236. It's the end of Muslim worship in the mosque, but the Catholic king will take the unexpected decision not to destroy the building.